This short video is going to look at how you can combine a number of different recorded tracks to produce a finished mix. In this instance, we actually want um, various bits of spoken word combining with a musical track that fades in and out um, to combine with the voices. So the first thing we're going to do is um, import all the audio tracks that we're going to use for our project. So I'm going to go File, Import, Audio, and I'm going to pull in three files, the Bad Moon file, the uh, Podcasting Kit file, and the Standard Headset file. Select all of those, click Open, and they should all come into the workspace. Okay? You may need even to scroll a little bit up and down to be able to see all the files that you've imported. Okay, if I now press play here, it will play all the tracks simultaneously. So let's just have a look and see what happens. This recording has been made what using a podcast. Kit. So we've got three tracks there playing at the same time. If you just wanted to listen to uh, one of those tracks, you can mute the other two. To be able to just listen to one at a time. This recording has been made using a Hello. One thing I'm frequently asked about is the recording. So, we've got three different tracks. We need to list, be able to listen to them in the right order. And we need to be able to adjust the volume up and down um, as the different tracks are playing. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to um, put them in the correct order. Um, so, what I would like to happen is to have a bit of musical intro from the Bad Moon track. And then, after about 10 seconds, I want the podcasting track to come in and then I'd like a little bit more of audio and then I'd like the standard headset track to come in. So I'm going to use them um, to move things around in time the time shift tool up at the top here. Okay and this allows me to drag my audio to where I want it roughly in position and if I want to put my playhead in and listen to how these sound then first of all I'll need to come away from the time shift tool and use the selection tool to put my playhead into the um, audio timeline and then play. This recording has been made using the podcast. So that sounds okay at the moment. I might want to use the time shift tool to move things back in time or whatever. Remember, if you want to see things in more detail, you can always zoom in to your audio to be able to see what's actually happening. Okay. This recording has been made using the so that sounds okay. The big problem, obviously, as you can hear, is that the, audio, is that the music is now competing with the vocals um, and it, it, you can't actually hear what's been said. So what I'd like to happen is around about from here over to here is for the audio, the music audio, just to fade out completely. So I'm going to select that bit of the um, music track and I'm going to choose Effect Fade Out. And you'll see now that this has now gone... Um, the audio file tapers off at this point. So if we play just this section, you'll be able to hear this recording and it seems to fade out. Obviously what will happen um, at this point is it will get louder again. This recording has been made using the podcast. But we've got the fade right. Now what we need is for from this point up until just before the end of a spoken to be completely silent. So um, for this we're going to select the bit that we want to be silent and choose generate silence. And that makes that entire section silent. And then at the end here I want this to fade up. So I'm going to select this bit and I'm going to choose effect fade in. Okay, so what we essentially have here is this recording has been made using a podcasting kit. Goes quiet. And then at this point it will go very portable. And it fades up and down in relation to the audio. So let's just have a look at the full thing here. And we can see that we've got music track here that fades out when the vocals come in. And we need to do a similar thing for this track to be able to uh, make this interact with the um, the uh, music track. You might find it easier to shift these about so that they're nearest to the tracks that you're working in. So I'm going to drag this one up in the timeline. I'm going to zoom in and very quickly I'm going to have this 
that fades out over this period of time. So it will get quieter as the spoken word starts to come in. And then actually I'm going to just drag this all the way over to here. Have it go to generate silence over this bit, which is fine with me. And then it can get louder again. Okay, so if we now zoom out, we can see that the music track will get quite louder at this bit and then silent while the um, spoken word is taking place and then louder again. So let's just have a listen to this transition here. Need. It's also not very portable. Hello. One thing I'm frequently asked about so is... So that's okay. It was maybe a little bit quick on the fade out there, but you know, roughly speaking, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, and we can listen to this bit at the end again. What I might want to do with this bit is just select all of this, delete it on the keyboard, and just put a nice fade out over this final section here as well. to convert the audio sig signal into a digital one. So that sounds okay. We've now got a couple of problems with the actual audio files themselves or at different volumes, but we can increase that with amplification. So I want to make this one increase the amplification of a standard headset track. Effect amplify. So that's nice and loud. And again with this one, let's have this as loud as it can go. Okay, and then hopefully we should be starting to get there. This recording has been made using a podcasting kit. That's okay. I can um, tweak the, the, the levels between them so we can make things louder or quieter or louder, the individual tracks if we want to. But overall, if I'm happy with my finished um, project, I can both file save the project and this would allow me to come back later on and make different um, edits on various things so I'm going to save that but I'm also going to file export and export the whole track as um, audio mix save as an mp3 it's 64 kilobits per second which is okay for me click save and this will produce a new standalone audio um, recording There are, more, there are more advanced ways that you can use to be able to um, fade things up and down um, using the envelope tool, but that's for another video, I think.